Welcome everybody to Techpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a buy now button anywhere. This is actually going to be really, really simple when it comes to getting started here into Shopify. So guys, we need to do one thing here. First of all, you need to have an actual Shopify store in order to continue. So if you don't have a website, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can get started totally for free inside of Shopify. Now, as you should see here, we do have this actual product. And if you get started by adding products directly inside of Shopify, you should see that when you add your product automatically, it's going to be showing you like a template. The template usually comes with the reviews, um, the price, the color, the quantity, and the famous add to cart button or buy with whatever payment options, right? But let's say, for example, that I wanted to add more information about my product. I wanted to add more stuff about it. And then later on, I wanted to add a specific buy now button and put it anywhere. So to get it started here, of course, what you wanted to do is to first of access your Shopify administrator. Now that we are in here, we should see here that we have the home and the things to do next. Now, what you wanted to do, of course, is to focus first of all into the product you wanted to get started with buy now button. I'm going to go into my products and check out that we have a bunch of products to add. Now here, what I wanted to do is to focus into only one of them. Let's say, for example, this one, right? So for example, here is my product. Here is my prices. Here is absolutely anything I just wanted to focus on. Now, what I wanted to do now that I have this element already been focused on, I wanted to click here inside applications. And here into inside applications, I'm going to go into my upper side. And here you wanted to tap buy. Now you have here the buy button. Now this buy button, you can install this automatically. Of course, this one is branded and created by Shopify. So this is not a third party. This is actually created for Shopify. Now what you wanted to do is to create a buy button for a specific website or a specific block. In this case, our website. And we can sell products online to let customers check it out right away. So what I wanted to do is to hit into create button, but I'm going to open this into an actual new tab. So you should see here that I have my administrator into tab number one and the buy button into tab number two. The reason why I'm doing this is because what I wanted to do is to first of all customize the page where I wanted to add my buy now button and then later on I can create my buy now button. So here what I wanted to do is to focus into the actual product that I wanted to edit, which in this case is this one. Check out that automatically we have an actual template. So this template comes with the text, the title, the price, the variant picker, the quantity selector, the buy button buttons, description, and all of that. So here, what I wanted to do is to add a new section. And let's say that I wanted to add something like, and let's say for example, the multi row. So this multi row is gonna be helping me to add my buy now button. So let's say for example here that I have all of these elements and now I have a new row or a new section and in this new section i do have like just one collect i'm going to open and choose the custom liquid now this custom liquid is going to be showing me the snippet or the code that i wanted to add here my buy now button in this specific place so now what i wanted to do is to open any tab here where i do have my buy now button and here I wanted to add the product buy button recommended for showing one product on the blog page or website. Now here what you want to do is to select the product which you wanted to uh, start with the buy now button, which in this case is this one. Now I hit for select. There we go. Now as you should see here we have the color and the size and add to the cut. This is how it should be appearing my actual buy now button. So into the lip pod, we can get started by editing the layout, the product variant, and everything in you know. Here, what I do is to make sure that I have all my variants and the layout styles, you can change it from classy, from the full view, uh, basic. Today, I'm gonna focus into classic. Now, add product to cart, direct to checkout, or open product details. So choose the one that best suits for you. In this case, let's go for open product details. Now into my button style, I'm gonna change the background color for something much more related into my actual website, or let's say for my branding. So now that I have those elements, let's say for example, I don't know, maybe this color, 
I can change the button text if I do wanted to, and I can even change the typography. That's really optional for you. Inside here, I can go and copy this code. When I copy this code, I can just paste it wherever I can. Uh, I do want it to show my buy button. So here, I'm gonna, for example, choose this custom liquid, and I'm gonna paste my liquid quote. Now, is this one available for any website at all? Well, the answer is yes. If I open a, another place, for example, Google Sites, so if you wanted to edit like the size, the movement and all of that, you need to do this directly in here. I hit into view my product and check out how this actually looks. So in my case, what I think that I'm going to be doing here is to try to change a little bit more the size so I can change it for the whole image and I can see this in a very much more easier, faster way. But I can see all the brilliance, I can see all the colors, everything around that. And if I go and add it to the card, I can go for the checkout and this one should be sending me directly into the checkout of my Shopify, which I think is going to be really awesome. Nobody needed to go directly into my Shopify because all this stuff are going to be just granted directly in here, which I think is going to be really, really awesome. So guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great shows about the actual Shopify without having to install any third-party applications. Really, really easy process. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Remember, you have the link down below in the description to get started totally for free inside of Shopify. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.